So, you're looking to create a custom YouTube intro or outro for your YouTube videos? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Flixir to create intros like this. First, go to Flixir.com and click on Get Started. Let's start by making a simple intro that shows our logo and the background video. We'll begin by adding a shape and making it take up the whole screen. We'll change the color to white since it works for our brand and blends in well with the video we're going to add later. Then we'll look for a stock video of clouds and add that on top. We don't want the clouds to be too distracting, so we'll go over to the Effects tab and lower the opacity to around 50%. We'll also go over to the Transitions tab and add a fade-in of about 1 second to our video. Now we'll drag over our logo. We'll resize and center it, then make it last about 3 seconds, since that's how long we want our intro to be. Next, we're going to make the logo zoom in a little to make the intro more dynamic. Select the logo on the timeline and press K to add two keyframes to it. Move one of the keyframes to the start and the other one to the end. We'll click the second keyframe and go over to the scale options in the image menu. We need to click this link icon to make sure our logo doesn't get distorted and then increase the scale value for this keyframe. Make sure to reposition your logo afterwards so it stays centered. If we look at our intro now, you'll see that we have this cool zooming effect added to our logo. All we have to do now is trim every element of our intro to the same duration. Then we'll add a fade out of about half a second to each track and then add the rest of our footage underneath. For this next intro, we're going to use Flixir's animated overlays. Let's go over to the Overlays tab and drag one to the timeline to take a better look. Notice how there are a few seconds where the yellow rectangle takes over the whole screen? We'll use a trick to make that last longer so we can display our video title or logo there. I'm not a fan of these colors though, so let's start by customizing our overlay. Change the colors to whatever you like. We'll use white and blue for this example. Then copy your overlay and paste it to create a second one right next to it. We're going to go over to the shapes menu and add a rectangle on top of the overlay. We'll make it white and extend it to the whole screen. Move the playhead to the moment where the first overlay is in full screen and move the shape there. Then extend it so it lasts until the full screen moment of the second overlay. If we play through it now, you'll notice that instead of two overlay animations, it looks like we have a single one that's longer. You can now add your text or logo here and make it look however you want. Make sure to adjust the beginning and ending so it blends in with the overlay animations. You should also add some short fade transitions at both ends to make things look a little smoother. Now our animation is done and all you need to do is drag your footage underneath. Because of the way this looks, you could use it as an outro as well. You could display credits in the text area and remind your viewers to like and subscribe. If you want to use it as an intro but you don't like the way it starts, you can just trim the first part of the overlay and text so your video starts directly with the white background. For this next intro, we'll have our title text pop up over a video background that slowly goes out of focus. Start off by adding your background video to the timeline. You can upload one yourself or use a video from the stock tab. I'm going to show you a little trick to create that background blurring effect. Copy and paste this background layer on a new track and make sure the two overlap. Select the top track, go to the Effects tab and add a slight blur using this slider. Then go to the Transitions tab and add a fade into the top layer to make it look like your video is slowly getting blurry. Now it's time to add your text. If you want each word to appear on screen at a different time, you'll need to create multiple text objects. Go to the text tab, add simple text, type in your word and then style the text however you want. Now to save time you can just copy this word and paste it, but edit the text to the next part of your title. Do this for every word in your title and position them all nicely on screen. Now use the timeline to change when each word appears on the screen. If you have a voiceover for your video, use the waveform to help you synchronize things. Make sure to trim all the text elements and the background video to the same length and then add some fade transitions to the text to make things a little smoother. Now your intro should look something like this. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions feel free to comment below. 
I hope this video was helpful. Have a nice day and good luck.